In this video, we're going to take you through an introduction to recipes, and that's going to include how to create and save recipes as well as in each door example. Now to start, we're in the Estimate Costings tab, and to begin, we're just going to pick uh, any category which we want to put our recipe in. We're going to add an item here. And essentially what a recipe is, and commonly known as composites, is it essentially allows us to bundle multiple items and tie them all to the same takeoff. Essentially, it just respects the fact that in many elements of our construction process, there's essentially going to be multiple items which are going to come together, which are going to then uh, create one element of our build. In this example today, we're going to look at doing a recipe for a door. So once we've entered in the name to build the recipe, I'm going to click the little deck of cards here, and that'll pop open this form, which I can essentially begin to fill out for my recipe. To start, we're going to look at the recipe unit of measurement. So in this example today, we're going to do each example. Uh, we will have uh, future subsequent recipes, which will go into uh, a range of different common examples, including square feet and lineal feet. But for today, we're just going to do an each. And from here, we're now just going to look at adding in a couple items. So an example here is that uh, uh, there's going to be a, a door and a door. There's going to be one of those doors. And I'm just going to say for today, it's going to be $80 or $90. Let's also say that there's going to be a jam, and we'll say there's one of those at $75. Let's add in some hinges here, and let's say that there's going to be three hinges in the door. Each hinge will be, say, $5. Let's also look at some uh, molding, and we'll go ahead and say that there's going to be 33 lineal feet. Obviously, your measurements will differ uh, depending on a variety of factors. And I'll see each lineal foot here will be $1.21. And lastly here, let's add some labor in. Let's say it's going to take 0.5 of an hour. And our FTE costs maybe are something like, uh, say, $37 an hour. Now, the whole point here is that essentially we're saying in each door, there's one door, one jam, three hinges, 33 lineal feet, and 0.5 of an hour of labor. So from there, we can go ahead and click our takeoff tool. And this is essentially just the each takeoff. I'm just going to do just a quick example. Uh, we do have another video that goes through the, um, uh, the each in more detail. But just for today, I just want to show you that with basically with this recipe and the each, um, I'm now just going to simply click and it's going to then put a pin and basically allow me to count my number of doors. So let's just say, for example, today that I've only have those uh, those five doors. Once I'm done, I'm going to click Accept and Save, and Build Exact will then automatically fill that quantity in here. And eff effectively, you can see that it's going this uh, area, the total recipe quantity times the unit of quantity per door. And so it's telling me that I need five doors, uh, five jams, 15 hinges, 165 uh, lineal feet of molding, and 2.5 hours of labor. Now, the real key benefit to this is that this obviously allows you to be very, very accurate in your costing. So you don't just have to approach certain elements of the construction process from ballpark figures, but you have the ability to break this down to its fundamental components. This will also show later on if, you, if you'd like it to as a part of the, uh, of the quote letter. And of course, this information will be then transferred across into the job management side, which effectively, again, makes raising purchase orders quite easy. On that, I want to quickly mention the actuals category here, as we do get a lot of questions about that. And effectively, what that actuals category allows you to do is to reassign an item to a different actuals category, which will be viewable on the job management side. So uh, basically allows you to bundle multiple items and naturally they're going to sit under this doors and windows category, but we may want to reassign an item uh, to put it with other like items. So as an example here, I might just go ahead and pop this down into uh, just say windows as an example. That's a bad example. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put it into, let's just say kitchen. And we're going to go ahead and put that there. So again, all Build Exact is going to do is on the job management side, it'll take this item and it's going to reassign it to that category. So really just again, allows you to bundle like items together. Now to finish, essentially, if we didn't want to save this recipe for any future use and future estimates or templates, we could go ahead and click close. Uh, that will keep that recipe there. So obviously we can pop it back open and make any amendments that we need to. However, if you want to save this recipe for future use, then all you need to do is click Save As. 
And from here, we can go ahead, give it a description. I'm just gonna call it door as an example. We'll save that. And effectively what this has done is it's now added this recipe to my recipe catalog. So uh, the next time that I wanna do a, I wanna use that recipe for a door, instead of having to build it again, I can essentially just click this browse recipes button where I can either browse the build exact pre-created ones, or in this case today, I can pop open uh, my previously created recipes. So again, it gives you that ability to select them uh, when you may need them a little bit further down the road uh, and then pull them in. And just like that, so that's it for everything today on the recipes. Again, we have some future videos that we'll, which we'll go through uh, a few different common uh, recipe examples, uh, but as an introduction today, that's it.